from job sharing, I think to be a successful entrepreneurship, uh, we have to gather many criteria, uh, such as open mind, focus, um, self-reflective, process oriented, uh, empathy. I think many challenges. Uh, it, indeed, it's it's not easy. It's but, not but, easy. Yeah, but imagine if if it's easy, everybody would be an entrepreneur. That's not the fact. So everyone can try, but eventually not everyone even tries it, or even if they try, not everyone can do it well. So it's it's not easy at all. It's very beneficial. So once you are there, it gives you a lot of benefit, time, wealth, freedom. A lot of good things comes, like respect from the society. But before you reach that level, it's extremely difficult. Not easy. Not easy. Mm. Uh, the last question, uh, what does the life of an entrepreneurship look like? Well, it's a good question. It's like a, like a roller coaster, you know? You start your day with a lot of energy, especially if you have a little bit of coffee, right? You, you have the boost in the morning and uh, you, you go Monday morning in the office and you, you try to convince your colleagues to, to work hard and motivate them and then something happens. And bad news, for example. And as, as we discussed before, all the, all the good thing about the company and all the bad thing about the company comes back to you as the founder, as the entrepreneur. It's all, it's yours basically, and your responsibility and your mistake. So it's very direct feedback from, from the market, or from the life, how good you are, or how bad you are, how lucky you are, how unlucky. So okay, there is a bad news, and then you challenge yourself, like, Oof, I made a mistake, I made a mistake again. I didn't learn enough, so what, what, what should I do? And then you think, you may come up with a good idea and then maybe your colleague will come good feedback, client want to sign a contract with you and then you change, you start it again like oh, okay, I'm not that bad actually so I can, I can do it well, no, that is a good feedback, big clients want to work with us so it's good and then maybe your CFO comes and say that uh, startup normally they don't, they don't have money, right? We, uh, liquidity and, and Cash flow, it's all the time a problem. So somebody, big client, they don't want to pay on time. So we have a lot of financial issues. And then you start to think again, like, okay, I'm not very careful with the financials. Um, that's a mistake, it's home. And uh, you have to find a solution. You can spend a lot of time on problem solving. And then hopefully you have a solution. And then you come back again, like, okay, I'm not that bad. Okay, I'm promising. So even, you know, we, we do some kind of progress. So a life of, a, of an entrepreneur is this kind of roller coaster all the time. Because you have the will, you want to make things done, you have very limited time, you have to be very efficient, obviously it's tiring, sure. And uh, even your family, not necessarily your supporter. Because, uh, they don't, they don't understand you most of the time. Okay, if you have entrepreneurs in the family, it's easier because they have the mentality. So it's a kind of mindset. But most of us, in my, my kids as well, uh, there's not any entrepreneurs in, in the family. So I have to explain everyone to everyone why you are in that on the risky field. Why don't you take a normal job like everyone else? So emotionally, it's very difficult because it's very hectic especially in the early stage of the company when you don't have the procedures yet, you don't have a, a predictable income, um, you, you don't know what will happen even tomorrow. Mm -hmm. However, you already have investors, you are responsible for your colleagues, you are responsible for clients and investors. So it comes with a lot of responsibility and it comes with a lot of input from different people. Everybody wants something from you and then you, you have to make everyone happy. Obviously, you can't. So it comes with... Uh, with a lot of emotional ups and downs. Therefore, you have to be strong mentally, emotionally. And uh, this is one of the biggest challenge because people say in the peak, you are very much alone, lonely, because 
you can share a lot with your colleagues, but not all, because if you are too pessimistic, yeah, that's the basic. You are a founder, you are an entrepreneur, you have to be optimistic, whatever happens. Even if there is a big catastrophe, you are the one who is stable, calm, optimistic, and tell people, okay guys, you cool down, this is the situation, this is plan A, plan B, we do this, we do that, and the outcome will be that. If you are not, collapse. However, you yourself, inside, you feel the same. So how comes, again, we have this problem, how to solve it, why we are not there yet when we are stable and predictable. So you yourself as an entrepreneur should be very stable, but you have to be able to control yourself. And at least for others, you don't have to pretend that you know everything, just like we discussed, but you are the one who are optimistic in whatever happens. Yes, I know that, it's difficult, it's part of it, we will solve it. Even if you yourself don't believe it. You have to be able to convince yourself to be able to convince others, everything will be okay, you will find a solution for everything. So emotionally, every, every day is like ups and downs, and it comes with you for, for years, at least for the first few years. Once you have a good client base, you have, uh, you have predictable income, you know how you will finance your, your operation and so on, it's much easier, but it comes with different problems. So entrepreneurship is a continuous problem solving. You never give up, problems will come from the very early stage, later stage, even big companies like General Electric, Apple, they have problems. So you as an entrepreneur and you who build the company, you will have problems every single day. If not, something is building the company. Then you, the problems will come later. So that's what entrepreneurs should keep in mind or wannabe entrepreneurs should keep in mind. Problems is part of it, and problem solving is the most important kind of characteristic or most important task of an entrepreneur.